right, so, um, welcome back, guys, to another episode of woo, Minecraft Camping 100 Days. Now, today is a special video for y'all, because uh, this is going to be a little bit difficult um, to say, but um, long story short, I've been pretty much um, going through a few things for the last two days of this and i wanted to say that um the intro might change due to the logo and i say i might because again i don't know what's going on here i think half the music might be going through but um as you guys can probably tell the profile picture changed so <laughs> i had to uh i had to come up with a different option so yeah um hopefully uh, I get a new intro soon, um, so I know you guys don't want me to literally change this intro, but I, I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to be able to find the template, nor the music that I actually used previously. I haven't used that uh, thing since like 2017, so the odds of me finding that is very, very, very thin, so yeah. Um, anyways, enjoy the video, guys. And I'll see y'all next time. So, where we left off again, we were currently in the village and we couldn't make back to our camp. But, we're about to head back up because uh, we already have enough food and I think we haven't actually checked the rest of the traders yet. Um... Which one is this one? Because he's on top of the fucking... Okay, you specifically. What the fuck? Um, well, you. I already know who you are. You're the weaponsmith, obviously. You. Oh, yeah, actually, no. You're a lot higher on the expenses. Bane of Osipods, looting, and unbreaking three. Interesting. Interesting. That's an interesting price. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, two things. Either one, we can actually figure out a way to reach the other camp because otherwise we need to figure out how we're going to do this. Because there's no way in hell that there's a fucking camp all the way out here. Because the reason I say that is because it's too goddamn, goddamn risky to go for a full-on attack in a goddamn wilderness like this when they're all over the fucking mountains. Unless the goddamn... Unless they can reach up here, I doubt they're going to make it here. So... Hmm, I think it's pretty safe for now, so that means I have to, um, pretty much do stuff off camera to, uh, have that stuff, but, yeah, that's fine, we can do that. But anyways, um, this is currently, and I'm hoping my editor is telling me wh which day it is, because I'm not going to hold you, I completely forgot, and I haven't been paying attention. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're currently on this day, um, and we have made a lot of progress so far. So, um, we found the village for the first time, lucky as hell, and, uh, yeah, we're now, we're just going to start, um, collecting items and collecting stuff for the, uh, trade. So let us start that. So the first things first, what we're going to do is literally go and start and grab some coal. Now, I'm pretty sure I saw some coal nearby, but it's probably not on the mountain anymore. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get back down here and uh, we're going to probably hit that cave that we saw earlier. So let's go. Hmm. Before we go over there, though, let's grab this. Because we did say we were going to grab a coal anyway. Well, shit. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, well, shit. Gotta make sure I don't fall. Okay, so there's clearly more down there, but who knew? Um, okay. So, by the way, I wasn't talking about that part. I was actually talking about the other part down here, I think. So I'm pretty sure 
at this start of the village right here. There should be one nearby. Because I didn't just walk right by one like an idiot. But I'm also let me find it. Roaming along. Um, Alright, let's make this short this episode. Because I uh, just realized this was, a <laughs> this was a really bad episode. Reason being was because I didn't realize it up until now. But the fucking recording delayed. Two, I didn't notice the fact that I was just roaming around. And I didn't fucking see the goddamn goddamn hole up until I just saw the footage so I got to explain the whole entire thing so just buckle your seatbelt is not gonna take that long basically um, I just roamed around the village uh, trying to find coal there was some coal outside uh, the entirety of the place it wasn't where I literally missed the fucking hole that was clearly to my left and I wasn't paying attention um, and then there was a second one um, there was a second part of coal, uh, under a house where the, um, where the weaponsmith actually lives. So it was just right on top of his house. And I just had to figure out which particular house I had to go to, to specifically find it. And when I did, I actually got the coal and, um, pretty much after that, I just literally decided to, uh, grow some, uh, berries cause I was running out of food and all this shit. So yeah. But other than that, that's, I think that's about pretty much what I had to do for that episode. Because I'm not going to hold you guys. Not a lot happened. Uh, besides me roaming around like a goddamn idiot and not knowing what the hell I was doing. <laughs> um, but that was about pretty much it, what I was doing. And uh, I think like halfway, the goddamn footage just started to literally, literally delay. So what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? But anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like, also hit that subscribe button if you're on YouTube channel. Sorry if it was so short and sorry if it wasn't that long. It was really, really difficult to try to get everything here when knowing for a fact that the recording was going to be delayed and everything wasn't working to my favor. So yeah. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoy your day. It's been Zach, guys. Later. My